It's a penny! I wish Lion would come back. Mountain Rescue, sir. Tell Tom to meet us in the 4x4. Four four. I must say I'm glad to see that Mountain Rescue will come out for a cat. Ah, of course we will, Bronwyn. Mountain Rescue's not just for people, you know. There they are, Penny. Hi, Tom. Can we set up a winch so you can lower me down? No worries, mate. OK, Tom. Probably just needs to stretch his legs after being all cramped up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Looks like my wish came true. Lions learn not to hunt birds anymore. Maybe you were right, Mum. Maybe the well really is magic. And maybe I really will be a princess when I grow up. Princess Sarah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it suits you. Ice tea, anyone? Oh, lovely. What a good idea. It was Sam's idea, actually. He's the brains, and I'm just the beauty. <laughs> ah! oh! uh, uh. Very refreshing, Elvis. I must say, I'm rather surprised we haven't had more call-outs in this hot weather, Sam. The sun's rays are frightfully strong. They certainly are. There we go. Nearly finished, and I haven't got any glue on my fingers either. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my! No, stupid glue! Mom! Yes! Whoa! Where did that come from? Norman's room! I I'd better call for help! <laughs> fire, fire above Gillis's shop! Supermarket! Action stations, everyone! Ah, Sam! It 
wonder if you can help me again. And get a fancy siren noise on this thing now. Sorry, Tillis, but you need to come out of the building in case the fire spreads. Fire? What fire? Norman, come away from the fire, quickly! I can't, Sam! I'm glued to the door! Right, I see. OK, Penny, get a screwdriver. We'll have to take off the doorknob. OK, Sam! Then take the whole door off! Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I won't be long. It's Station Officer Steele's nose. Make sure you all take care now. Oh, at last! Great. Now we can see to test the smoke alarm. Ah, there you go, Dillis. And the rain stopped too. Things are looking up. Hooray! We can have the party and sing the song in the garden after all. Not broken in, are you sure? Quite sure. Just a graze. Oh, I'm glad the power is back on. I don't like the idea of Mike being in charge in the dark. I quite agree, Helen. It's not everyone who can stay calm in the dark, you know. <laughs> oh, sausages are nearly done. Oh, and here's Helen. Ma'am! Oh, wonderful. I've arrived just in time. And didn't have to do anything. That was the plan. Oh, the napkins. I'll get them. No, I don't want you to do anything, remember? <gasps> Help! Fire! Help! <gasps> Helen! Do something! Call Fireman Sam! There's a fire at the flood house. Oh, no. Probably something to do with the power cut. I'm back. Not for long, Sam. Come on. Right. So nobody's inside, you say? No, we're all out here. OK. Penny, we'll need breathing apparatus. OK, Sam. Can you turn the electricity off at the mains, Penny? It's off, Sam. <sighs> yeah, I can't see any smoke. Where was the fire you saw, Dillis? There! Over there! I saw the bright orange flames glowing through the trees. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ma'am, that's the sunset. Norman Price, if you hadn't been telling your mother so many scary stories, this never would have happened. If you're going to carry on like this, we might as well go home right now. Sorry, Trevor. Sorry, ma'am. I, I promise not to tell any more stories. Well, we better call back and tell the fire brigade it was a false alarm. <laughs> what? A false alarm? Uh, stand down, men and woman. False alarm, there's no fire. Repeat, stand down, men. It's a false alarm, Elvis. We'd better go back. There's the fire. I'd better phone Sam and let him know. Hello? Hello, Sam. I've located the fire. You'd better get up here. Uh, we're on our way. You tell Station Officer Steele what's happened.
Norman Price, what did I tell you about making up all these scary stories? No, I, I'm not making it up. It's true. Come and look. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, dear. We should never have left the campfire unattended. Tom Thomas calling, Sam. I'm on my way. Where are you? We're just arriving, Tom. Penny, Elvis, bring the hoses. The fire is too far from the road for the hoses to reach Tom. We have to use flex packs and beaters. No worries, Sam. I'll fill up the water tanks. I can help you from the air. <laughs> I love these floppy shovels. <laughs> Never mind, Norman. We've already put up more lights than anybody in Pontypandy ever before. But, Mum, haven't we got another giant Santa? No, Norman, that was the last one. Couldn't you order one? Not a week before Christmas, I couldn't. He would never get here in time. You could tell them it was an emergency. Oh, help! Emergency! Not like that, ma'am. Don't be daft. <gasps> ma'am! Call Fireman Sam! Fire at Dillis's shop. Fire at the cut price supermarket, Sam! We've had a call from Mrs. Price. There's a man overboard in the bay. Wait, Sam. What's up? Another message has come in. There's a man overboard in the bay. Send Penny to man the lifeboat, sir. R -r 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 right, for Sam. Penny. I'm already on it, sir. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first. Over there. Right you, Sam. It's OK, Dillis. The fire is out now. Everything is under control. Too many plugs in one of these old adapters. That's what the problem was. Elvis is right, Dillis. Those old adapters are very dangerous. You must be careful not to overload your sockets. I tried to tell my Norman that we had too many lights, but he just wanted more and more and more. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look who I found swimming in the bay. The man overboard was this blow-up Santa. <gasps> yes! I may have lost my Christmas lights, but at least I've got my blow-up Santa back. Give him here, Penny. We're going to put him on the roof. On the roof? Are those Santas designed for garden display? What did I tell you, Norman Price? But, Mum... Norman Price. I think it would be better if Santa could help us say thank you to all the nice firemen for everything they've done. <laughs> A forest fire? Sarah and James don't miss him? Lightning has struck in the forest and there's a fire. Two children are missing. We could take Radar. He could help us look for them. I don't think he's up to it. He's too nervous. We've at least got to give him a chance. I'll fetch him. I've called Tom too. He can fight the fire from the helicopter. <laughs> Come on, boy. 
You can do it. Well done. to the twins so the radar can get their scent. Only their waterproofs. Here, boy. Take a sniff of these. Come on, radar. We need you. We've got to find James and Sarah. Good boy. Sam, quick as you can. Person stuck under a crate. We'll be there as fast as we can. And can you ask Penny to keep an eye out for them, sir? Yeah, Sam. I say it was a quiet day. It's okay, James. We'll soon have you out. Sarah, I want you to go back to the cafe with Mandy. Sarah, I'm sorry I said you weren't fun. I'll play with you next time. I promise. What do you think it is, Sam? I really don't know. So I want to do this quickly. We'll have to leave the crate off James as gently as we can. Good, James. Uh, uh, I'm out. Whatever's in there, it's getting louder. You know what it sounds like? Clocks. Lots of <laughs> alarm clocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know what's in the crate, don't we? This wouldn't have happened if we hadn't argued, Dad. Sorry, Dad. I should have listened to you. Come here, son. Sometimes you just have to find these things out for yourself. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Elvis. It's what we're here for, James. James! Norman! Come out! We have to go back or we'll get trapped by the tide! We need help! Maybe someone will see me from the rocks. I knew there 
was never a dinosaur. There was. They're just very good at hiding, that's all. <gasps> James! What? The water! We're trapped! <gasps> yes, I saw them a couple of hours ago. I think they were heading to the beach. Well, they're not back. And the tide's in. And I'm going to call Fireman Sam. James, Sarah, Norman, missing? Uh. Oh dear. James, Sarah, and Norman are all missing. Last seen on the beach. Alert Mountain Rescue, sir. Tom can search from the air, Penny and I will search from the water. Okay, Sarah. I got you. But where are Norman and James? They went into the cave, but I don't know if they can get out. The cave entrance looks flooded, Sam. Help! 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 James, look! There's something swimming under the water. Ah! It's a sea monster. But Norman, there's no such thing as. Hello, boys. Norman, come back. It's Penny. I knew that. Oh, don't be scared. You're safe now. I'll get you out. But the, what about me? I'll be right back, Norman. Hold on to me, James. Oh, it's chilly. Don't worry, James. The tide is going out again now. The water's going down. And it's working again. But I think you need to service it a little more often. Sure, it's all right, Mike. It's giving off a burning smell or something, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah, you're, you're right, Bromwyn. I, I hadn't noticed that before. Ah! OK, everyone, don't panic. <gasps> keep calm. Oh, keep calm? How can I keep calm? It's a fire! Tr try chanting, Mike. Just say, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping... Never mind chanting. Move outside to safety and someone call Fireman Sam. He's been jogging all day, Sam. I saw him too. Oh, well, he's not jogging now. <laughs> Shh, Elvis. Poor thing. He's exhausted. He sure had you two fooled, jogging all day, honestly. <laughs> Heater on fire at the fish shop. I know you had a baby. It's not a baby. It's Willie's little lamb. It was all a silly joke. It's my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, Sarah. We'll take it from here. Penny, get the breathing apparatus. Elvis, prepare the hoses. 
I'm going to rescue the baby. It wasn't a baby, really. <laughs> so did I, Mike. So did I. <laughs> but it is a baby. And it wants to be with Wooly. Norman! Hello, Sam. How are you getting on with your paper aeroplanes? Terrible. Nobody else in Ponty Pandy even likes paper planes. <laughs> Great balls of fire! Oh, 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 in the kitchen! Fire in the fire station kitchen! Oh, I say. Cut the gas supply, Elvis. Gas supply off! Elvis Cridlington, there was a fire extinguisher right next to the fire exit. Sorry, sir. I think I panicked. What about my stew? Oh! <coughs> You've overcooked the dinner before, Elvis, but never that bad. Firemen are supposed to put out fires, Cridlington, not start them, especially not on Fire Prevention Day. I don't know how it happened. There's something here that might provide a clue. Aha! A paper plane. Perhaps that can tell us who the culprit is. Ah, yes. It's a letter. Uh, there's a name on it. Dear Station Officer Steele. Uh, oh, Station Officer Steele! It was you! No, it wasn't. It was Norman! <gasps> Norman Price! Oh, sorry. It was an accident. I was only trying to find someone who liked paper planes as much as I do. <clears throat> I see. Well, perhaps I should have a word with the lad, Sam. Set him on the straight and narrow, as it were. Good idea, sir. Oh, poor Norman. It probably was an accident. I, I hope Station Officer Steele won't be too hard on him. <laughs> Don't worry, Elvis. I think Station Officer Steele and Norman will reach a happy understanding. The first rule of paper aeroplanes, Norman, is to be careful where you throw them. Now, watch this loop the loop. <laughs> <laughs> cool! This next trick's called a barrel roll. Ah! Wow! Oh, Right, everyone, out the back door. Keep going, calm as you can. Oh, uh, now that's what I call a scenic route. Is everyone OK? I, I think so. Good. Well, I'll reverse the bus back onto the road and we'll get off to school, eh? Um, Mr Evans, look! Oh, no! I would, but I left my mobile phone on the bus. Leave this to me. I saw Mike's phone back in his toolbox. Oh, Trevor Evans' bus is about to fall over the edge of the cliffs. Well... Trevor Evans' bus is about to fall over the edge. No time to lose him.
Ponty Party Fire Service to Mountain Rescue. We're going to need your assistance, Tom. No, Sam. We're all fine. It's my poor bus that's in trouble. And more men. OK. Let's be quick. Elvis, attach a line. Stand back, everyone. Easy does it. Sam, hurry! The cliff's starting to crumble. I'm on it, Tom. House. Oh no, the firework party! <laughs> Whoops, not again. <laughs> There's a fire at the floods. There must have been an accident with the fireworks. Elvis, Sam, take Jupiter, I'll man the control desk. Shed right now. Don't say that, Norman! Sam! Sam! We think Lion might be hiding in that workshop. Again? Okay, we'll check. No sign of Lion. He wasn't in the shed, I'm sure of it. Ooh, oh, well done, Sam. Goodness. That's lucky. Oh, thank goodness. I want to go home now to see if Lion's turned up. I'll give you a lift. Oh, but we haven't seen all the fireworks yet. I think we've had enough fireworks for one night. Me too. Next time we're going to a proper display. It's much safer. We haven't put out a fire that big for a long time. So long, I nearly forgot how to do it. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it, Elvis? Well, I never. It's Lion! Look, over here. Look at this. I found some. We saw these first. Ooh, I am a muscle picking machine. I found lots here. Yeah. Hey, leave some for me. But you've already got loads. We're working together. <laughs> I'm going to find a better place with lots of muscles before the twins take them all.
You know, Elvis, the jaws of life are a great piece of rescue equipment, but they can't be used for every emergency. I know. Come on, Norman. Pull! Oh. It's wet! And getting wetter. The tide's coming in. We've got to get you out of here. Pull, Norman! I am, I am! But I'm stuck! But I can't leave you here. What are we going to do? Call Fireman Sam! Sam. Somebody's stuck amongst rocks on the beach. <laughs> the beach, Sam. Somebody's stuck. Quick as you can. The tide's coming in. Better bring the jaws of life, Elvis, just in case. Yes. What's happened, Charlie? His foot's wedged in tight, Sam. I tried everything. You haven't tried everything. That's right, Elvis. There's one more thing we should try. Can you reach down to untie your laces, Norman? Um, I think so. Yes! Uh, thank you, Fireman Sam. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. Wait a minute. Where's my lucky bucket? Where did you put it, Norman? Oh, it's gone. Bad luck, Norman. It must have floated away. Come on, we'd better head back before the tide cuts us off. Wait, what about my shoe? <gasps> Never fear, Cridlington's here. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. You saved my shoe. That's what the jaws of life are for. Saving things. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so hot in here. Why haven't you opened the window? Uh, I was a bit worried about letting the air in, just in case it started a fire. Don't be daft, Elvis. Open it. <laughs> <laughs> now you've let a fly in instead. Oi! Get off my lemonade! <laughs> Allow me, sir. <laughs> Ow! Elvis! Oh, sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, sir! <laughs> 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 Look! There's one! Ha! I saw it first! That's not a peregrine. It's a seagull. I know what a seagull looks like. That was a peregrine. Let me see. It's my turn with the binocular, Sarah. No, it's not. Oh, we'll never see one here. We need to go higher up. But that peregrine was flying down to the valley, just like Tom said. It was a seagull, Norman. Come on, back in the bus, everyone. Why does Trevor always think he knows best? so hot in here. Why can't we open the windows? Because the air conditioning won't work if the windows are open. It's not working anyway. That's the problem. There's nothing wrong with the air conditioning. Then why is the arrow pointing to the red bit on the temperature gauge? Oh, look! Smoke! Oh, oh, oh no! Everybody out! Now! Well, Mark, I'm just going to investigate. No! Don't open the bonnet. You let the air in. I know what I'm doing. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. oh Trevor! Call Fireman Sam! A bus on fire? Oh, no! There's a bus on fire in the Pontypandy Uplands. That'll be Trevor's bus. 
He's taking the kids up there this afternoon. What? <laughs> we no time to lose then. Slide on the beach has trapped James Jones. Station Officer Steele is at the scene. James Jones is trapped under a rock fall on the beach. We'll need to take radar, Penny. We'd better call Bronwyn. This is a good place to bury my coins. Station Officer Steele will definitely find them here. Oh, sounds like Jupiter. <laughs> I wonder what's up. Over here, Sam! Ah, he's somewhere under these rocks. Go, Radar. Go find James. Radar's sensitive nose will locate exactly where James is stuck, so we can get him out without disturbing the rocks around him. Good boy! Are you OK, James? Uh, yeah, not a scratch. Nothing hit me. I'm just trapped behind these rocks. Penny, get that tarpaulin from Jupiter. We're going to have to rig up a shelter in case any more rocks fall. OK, Sam. Glad you could make it, Elvis. Thanks, sir. Uh, hello, Sam! Ah, there you go. Easy, James. Let's check you over. Oh, thanks, Sam. Thanks, everyone. I should have stayed away from the cliffs like you said, Station Officer Steel. You were lucky this time, James. Why did you dig there, anyway? I thought I'd found something for Mum's birthday. But it was just this old tin can. I really wanted to get her something special. James Jones, you safe and sound is all I want. <sighs> Station Officer Steele, how about one last go to see if we can find those coins? I think I've had enough metal detecting for one day. Oh, go on, sir. Just a quick go. Oh, all right. Come on, Cridlington. Hungry. I know I am. I think my dad was right. Rita's not really a rescue dog. Come on. We better take him back to the station. <laughs> Trapped 
to the Whole Fish Cafe. Accident at the Whole Fish Cafe. Person trapped. We'd better radio Nurse Flood. It sounds like we could need medical assistance. OK, Sam. Easy, Mike. We'll soon have you out of here. Oh. Be careful, Sam. Don't move him. We need to immobilise him in case he's injured his back. I brought the stair chair to lift him out, Sam. We can't use the stair chair, Elvis. There aren't any stairs anymore. We'll need the stretcher. Right, uh, stretcher. Easy does it now. I knew I'd have work to do. Um, Elvis, what are you doing? Just trying out my new mop, Penny. And I'll have you know that I've decided to walk forward so there won't be any more accidents. No, but there will be footprints. Huh? Why does mopping have to be so complicated? I'll have to order a new belt for your washing machine, Dillis. You must have overloaded it. It wasn't me. It was Norman. Now you know why I never ask him to do anything. <laughs> uh, see you, Dillis. Hello. Hi, Mike. Norman! Oh, what now? I did the washing. No, you broke the washing machine. Oh, so now you need to ask Mike very nicely if you could wash our dirty clothes in his machine. What? But, uh, oh. Have fun, Norman. I wonder if Sarah and James want to go skateboarding. You know, Norman, I don't much like housework either. But if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Oh, no! Go on, Fireman Sam! Fire at the Flux House? No! Why do emergencies always happen when you don't want them to? <laughs> Fire at the flood house, Sam! Penny, take Venus as well! from the house, Mike. We'll take it from here. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. Wallabies, not again! <laughs> that bird really likes it here, Tom. Uh, mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. <laughs> help! 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 It's no use, Mandy. 
Nobody can hear you way out here. What about Charlie? He's too far away, Mandy. There's no way he can hear you. Radar? And who's that with him? Oh, no! Emergency? Which service do you require? Oh, um... Uh, 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 Fireman Sam, please! Norman Price trapped on the cliffs? Uh, ooh, this sounds like a job for mountain rescue! I'll take the chopper, Sam! See you there! But you need to listen carefully to what I say so I can help you. Hello, Tom. We're going to need a double harness down here. No worry, Sam. Come on right up. I, I mean down. OK, Norman. I'm bringing you down a harness. To slip it over your head, Norman, so it sits under your arms. I'm all right, Sam. I've got hold of it. You grab Rada. You need to put this on properly, Norman. Sorry, Sam. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Never mind. I got you now. Take us up, Tom. Ooh. What do you think you're doing? I said no, Norman! The whale! It's hit us! Oh, Norman! Why did you do that? I just wanted to catch it so I could be the winner. Oh, oh, Dad! There's water coming through! We've got to leak! That's all we need. In trouble on his boat. <laughs> sea rescue required. Boat in distress in the bay. Ought to be Fisherman Charlie with possible children on board. Norman, the first rule at sea is never panic. Uh, take deep breaths. <sighs> Look, there's Sam and Penny. Sam, Penny. Norman, deep breaths. Oh, sorry. Is anybody hurt? No, just the boat. She'll be OK as long as I keep pumping out the water. Right. Let's get you kids off. Sarah? James? Uh, you stay and help Charlie, Norman. What? But... Uh... <gasps> OK. I'll stay. Thanks, Norman. Well done. We'll give you a tow, Charlie. We need to guide the calf back out to sea together. OK? Yes, I think Norman and I will manage. so happy 
me, Sarah. Yay! I think he's saying thank you. Goodbye, little whale. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? Uh, oi! Shoo! Off with you! Oh, Charlie! I was trying to make friends. I might have known. Norman Price is the limit. Oh, Mum, Sam's not going to come. He'll think I'm pretending again and I'll be gobbled up like that boy in the cry wolf story. We both will. I'm so sorry, Mum. It's all my fault. I set the alarm off. I just wanted my ball back. Oh, Norman. Oh. oh! It's Sam! It's Sam! Careful! We'll fall off! Now, Norman Price, enough is enough. It... What are you doing up there? There's a wolf in the shop! Oh, look! It's behind the counter! Honest! We're not pretending! That's not a wolf. It's a fox. And it's hurt by the look of it. Oh, poor thing. Get the grabber, Elvis. Oh, Sam! I was so scared. I thought you weren't going to come. We always respond to emergency calls, Norman, even if we think they're false alarms. Don't worry. This won't